Tuesday, you're watching Tasty Tuesday, show is Tuesday, I try to make something tasty, sometimes it works. So Mother's Day is coming up. If you did not know, you're welcome for the reminder. I thought we'd make a DIY Mother's Day gift. It doesn't have to be your mom. It could be for a mom that you know or a mom-to-be. I'm not a mom-to-be even though I keep dropping hints like I'm pregnant or having kids. I'm not. I would like to be but I'm not, so you can stop with the pregnancy comments. It just makes me feel fat. Thanks. For this DIY Mother's Day gift, I thought we'd try an edible arrangement. You've seen those like edible arrangement commercials, I'm sure. They cost like $129 to get just like a simple bouquet of cantaloupe. I'm like, no, that's never gonna happen. I would never spend that much on fruit. Don't get me wrong, if you have spent that much on fruit, I'm sorry, there's just no defending that. That's so much to spend on fruit. <laughs> you can make your own. Because even if it doesn't turn out great, it's the thought that counts. My mom doesn't even like fruit and I'm making this for her. You're welcome, mom, I love you. So I watched one video on this and I feel like a pro now. I guess we'll see if it works. Let's make this dish. Step one, the first thing we're gonna do is take a pot or a bucket or something that you would put a bouquet arrangement into. I thought that this was much larger. I've had this for years and and just in my head when I was thinking about making this, I was like, oh, I have the perfect pot for that. It's pretty small. You might wanna get one that's bigger than this. The ones in the pictures are bigger, but. Hey, you know what? You don't need all that sugar anyway. This is, I'm helping my mom out. I'm giving you the gift of portion control. Yay! Then I'm gonna take some of this green foam stuff. I heard you could get this at the dollar store. I didn't have time to go to the dollar store. Michael's was closer, but um, you're gonna want to get some of this like green foam stuff to help the sticks stay up or else the sticks won't stay up and it will look like a really floppy bouquet. Nobody likes a floppy bouquet. Perfect! So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sharp ass knife and kind of carve this to fit better into our pot. It was harder to cut than I thought. <laughs> cool. This is exciting. I remember when the edible arrangement commercials first started happening and I thought they looked so cool. I never thought that you could make them on your own. Maybe you can't. I probably shouldn't chop this on the counter. It's pretty good. Okay, now I'm just gonna chop some to go on the side. Perfect. This is a big fat mess. Now we're gonna take some tin foil and put it over the top of the green stuff so that the green stuff doesn't get on our fruit because that's gross. You want your mom to have the bestest gift ever. And this is definitely the bestest gift ever. Dude, the lady in the video that I watched made it look so easy. They always do that. That's why I started Tasty Tuesday. To show you how a real person would do this and whether or not it would actually work. Good enough, mom. Like me, right? Okay, the next part is gonna be prep. We're gonna prep all our fruit flowers. I think we'll do grapes first, cause that's the easiest. So what we're gonna do is take these wooden skewers and just skewer like five red grapes on there. Be sure Sure to wash your fruit before you start. This is gonna seem really sexy, but it's not meant to be sexy. It's not sexy. Nothing about this is sexy. It's just really hot in here, okay? 92 degrees in the valley. Stop it. It's not sexy. All right, where, what are we doing? Grape sticks, that's right. This is not sexy, stop. I've never seen a flower that looks like this, but this is in all the edible arrangement bouquets. 129 bucks, worth it. All right, I'm gonna fast forward to when I have more of these made. And bam, I have five grape things, wow. Cool grape flowers, bro. Looks totally like something that I grew in a garden and paid 129 bucks for. How did they come up with that number? 129, it's cocky. Okay, we're gonna set these grapes aside. These look grape. You get, yeah, it was an easy one. Next we're gonna do the pineapple. Take a sharp knife and we're just gonna cut like a quarter inch thick or a half an inch thick slices. Oh, this is not going through as smoothly as hers did. What are you? This. Ooh, yeah. I just got this nice set for my bridal shower. Shout out to the Sweeney's. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's our thing. It's not. <laughs> pineapple. Let's get focused. Wow, this cuts really well. My goodness. You don't even know what sharp is till you get an actual knife. Okay, now the fun part that I don't know if will actually work. So you're gonna take some flour cookie cutters. I got these at Michael's for really cheap. I think they have them at Walmart too. These don't look that sharp. We're gonna try. So we're gonna take our flour cookie cutters and make little pineapple flowers. How freaking cute is that? These work. Cool. Yep, definitely on that mom train. Wow, times have changed. I used to think that taking shots of Jägermeister on an ice luge was cool. Now I think pineapple flowers are cool. Editing trick. Okay, that's a good amount of pineapple. I didn't end up using the whole pineapple, but I think we'll be fine apple. 
because we don't need that many flowers. Also, another thing, usually, you know, you core out this part. So this part's like pretty hard and not really edible. So when you're paying for these bouquets, you're paying for tiny bites of pineapple. $129. Okay, so we're gonna put those aside. Flowers are losing room. Next we're gonna do cantaloupe. It's exactly how I feel about Steve and I's wedding. Too far in, cantaloupe. I'm on a roll. Somebody stop me. Try it. I dare you. So for the cantaloupe, I think we're just going to cut it in half and take out the seeds. We don't like the bows. You know what? I meant to get a melon baller. Dang it. If you have a melon baller, good for you. Brag about it. Some of us out here don't. Some of us aren't living that baller lifestyle. <laughs> Oh, it just happened. Oh, God. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is use a tablespoon. Hmm? Same thing, right? Thingsies. Maybe it works? Hey, that kind of worked. Kind of. Let's try it again. A melon baller would probably work better. Just gonna say it. I'm gonna try this, like, scooper thing. Let's see. It's kind of big, though. I don't know how I feel about it. Uh, no. Nope. Definitely not. Oh. Those don't work. Tablespoon works better. If you have a melon baller, the ideal shape is a ball, but I think this will do. Okay, I switched to a teaspoon because it's gonna go like this on the pineapple. How fucking cute is that? I mean, how, how freaking cute is that? YouTube AdSense, how freaking cute. No! <laughs> I got cocky. I got cocky. That's what happens. Ugh, that was a, such a perfect one. I'll cut back to you when I have more melon balls. Okay, now we got our melon balls. They're not perfect, but your mom didn't make a perfect baby either. So these are my babies and I love them. I love you just the same. Now we're gonna start some assembly. Yay! Oh, no, too far. So we're just gonna take the pineapple and then we're gonna take our pineapple, and then we're gonna take our melon ball. We're just gonna put it on a skewer like that. Ow, fuck. Oh, that, mm, don't do that. Ow. You know, just like when your mom was making you, sometimes it hurts. It hurts probably just as much as that did. Probably. Okay, be gentle. Cute, kind of. I mean, it is what it is. People paid 129 bucks for this, did I tell you? So we're gonna make some of those now. I definitely drew blood with that. That's, ugh. Gross. You know what? Instead of setting these down, because I don't want them to break, I'm just gonna start putting them in our flower pot. In a flower pot full of daisies. Oh, oh, why? I'm gonna try one of the bigger ones. Oh, that looks cartoony. That reminds me of when Dot from Animaniacs had the, that flower thing in her ears. It reminds me of that. Is that too old of a reference? Kill yourself. I'm just kidding, don't do that. AdSense, don't do that. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. I kind of really like it. Is that lame? Now we're gonna put our grape flowers in there. You know, the ones that look like real flowers. And just kind of stick them in between here. Make it look like a fuller bouquet. Hey now. Oh, I don't really like it there. I don't know. Does that look better? Okay, yeah, sure, great. Now we're gonna do what I'm gonna presume is the hardest part. I saw a different tutorial on this, and again, I've never tried it, but think I'm probably a pro by now from the four minutes that I watched. We're gonna take our strawberries, and I'm going to attempt to make a rose shape out of a strawberry. And you're gonna flay out the, what, the cut that you did, so it's like a petal, like a flower petal. And then you're gonna go around your strawberry and do this like four more times. Then you're gonna do that again. You're just gonna keep doing that till you achieve a rose. Okay, um, yeah. <laughs> totally looks like a rose. I mean, this was my first attempt. Please like me. Stop judging. My mom's gonna love whatever I give her, so your opinion doesn't matter. This is a rose. So then we're gonna put our rose on a stem. Yeah, it'll get better. I'll get better at it. It's pretty bad. It's pretty not good. Okay, okay, it's fine. Put you in the other flowers. Okay, and then I'm just gonna continue that with the other strawberries, because I have no life today. This is my life today. See? then. Okay, cool. Now roses are added. They got better as I went along. If I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I liked it better when it was just the yellow flowers, but we'll keep going. So I made five strawberry roses, but now with the other strawberries, I'm just gonna dip them in melted dark chocolate and put those in there for something that's just not fruit. Some variety maybe. Maybe your mom would appreciate some chocolate on Mother's Day. Ah. Uh -huh chocolate chips. These are the chocolate chips from last week. It's the rest of the bag. I'm just gonna do the easy way and microwave it. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut oil in there because I was reading that that helps it stay like melty. So we'll do that. Oh look at this camera angle. You can't even see what I'm doing. I'm double boiling this chocolate for sure. For sure, for sure. It's totally what I'm doing. Yep. 
Double boiling. See you in a little bit. It takes a while, so I have to tune this off. Okay, that was a lot of double boiling. Now we got some nice smooth chocolate. Um, we're gonna start dipping our strawberries in there. It's a very difficult technique. I'm putting them on a stick right now. Very difficult. You know, you have to kind of be a five-star chef to do this. So you kind of just twirl it around here. Wow, that was really, wow, so hard. Look, it looks like a tulip, maybe, if it was dead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that in the bouquet. <laughs> yeah, this bouquet is getting crowded. Also, you can just eat anything that you messed up on. And just eat it. So we have almost our final fruit bouquet, edible arrangement. Whoa. Like I said, I think it looked a lot better when it was just the yellow flowers, but to get the value of all the fruit, put them all in there, make it look hideous. To hide the sticks a little better and make it look more like a garden, I have some lettuce. It's a little old. I was gonna buy a new head of lettuce and I forgot. You work with what you have. You just kind of, oh, that doesn't smell good. Ooh, okay. I mean, this is just a placeholder till I get new lettuce. Yeah, it looks like moss. It's great. No, it's really great. No, really. No, it's awesome. I had meal prepped this to be in a salad bowl. Now it's gonna be an edible arrangement and it's not prepared for that. Oh, I forgot Steve bought lettuce. Toss out your old gross smelling lettuce. You smell very bad. And I'm just gonna kind of rip off chunks of lettuce and put them on the bottom. Well, you know, because I just tried to do it with the gross lettuce. This seemed like it would be much easier. That looks nice. Just an opinion because I've seen both. I think the fresh lettuce looks a lot better than the old lettuce that was browning and smelled bad. Just in case you were wondering which one to get. There you go, look at that. Your mom's gonna love that. My mom isn't because she doesn't like fruit. She would probably pretend to like it while I give her an Amazon gift card. Maybe my new mom will like it. Shout out to Sherry Green, woo woo. It's kind of a lot of carbs though. I don't think she eats that many carbs. Guess I'll have to eat it. I think that this looks fantastic for the less than $10 that was spent on it. But if you wanna go ahead and buy a $129 edible arrangement, you go right on ahead, whatever floats your boat. This is just a show that it can be done. Look at that, that's cute. Is it tasty? It tastes like fruit. So if you've had a fruit and you like fruit, yep, it's tasty, <laughs> honey. Yeah, it looks not great. What? You don't like it? Well, it's just hilarious. <laughs> It's like, but look at it from this angle. It's like, hey, Ooh. if you don't want to spend the money. It looks not good and not terrible. How about that review? Have you seen an edible arrangement before? Yeah. Do you think they look great? I think you get what you pay for. $129. Yeah, it's never worth that. But, no. <laughs> but this looks dollar store level. For all that fruit? I mean, no, the fruit's great. Oh. It just looks a little bit janks. I mean, critic. in real life, and on camera, it actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. But in real life, it looks like. But that's what it looks like in the pictures. That's what I'm saying. That's pretty true. Yeah. So then you get it, and it looks like this. It's like. You know. Have you ever seen one in real life? I have, yeah. It looks yeah. better than this, I will say. But, but it's because it looks like the strawberries are pre eaten because of what you did to them. Oh, I made them into roses. No, I can see that now that I'm close to it. But before, I was like, dang, dude, she's been eating those strawberries Aww. and she's holding it up. Now I see You're that. kind of a mean critic. I'm not trying to be mean. Hey, it's tasty. Cool. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anyway, there's an idea for you if you want. I'm sending my mom an Amazon gift card and eating this fruit. I can't wait to eat the lettuce part. That's just to make it look not as bad. I know. You're so mean. I'm not, I'm not mean. I hope you're never a mom. <laughs> eat them apples. Oh, you can't because I didn't put them in the bouquet. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this. I'll see you next time. Good job. Yeah, right. You can't what? say that now. You can't say good job after you just tore it to pieces. Wait, wait.